Hey y'all, Megan Kolb here at the Charlotte Dirt Track in Concord, North Carolina. We're hanging out in the hot pits right now. Let's go see who's here tonight and who's going to be fast. It's looking pretty dusty out there. How are the track conditions for today? Well, they, they got to start a little bit early for the TV and, and the track kind of went away there. But I think they're, they got an intermission, you know, until the TV starts. So they're going to, you know, work on the track a little bit. And it'll, it hopefully it'll come back a little bit and end up racing all night. What kind of changes would you try to make to it to make it better? Well, they're, gonna, they're obviously going to have to add a little bit of water. Just and the, and the sun going down will help it a ton. Like when the sun beats down on a track like this, it just there's no chance for it to not dry out. So they get it, you know, they just till it up a little bit, put a little water and pack it back down and the sun goes down, it, it should be good for the night. And you guys are back in Charlotte for the first time uh, since November. That's the last time you guys ran out here. Are you excited? you think your chances are good for this evening? Yes. I mean, all of our cars are really fast. Uh, you know, I think Casey was second quick, Cody was third, I was fifth, and Joey was, you know, seventh maybe. So we're all right in the hunt, which is really cool to take four cars and, and uh, all qualify good. You know, that's half the battle with these races. So I feel good about you know, KKR's chances of getting a win tonight for sure, and uh, you know, I have, our chances are just as good as anybody's. All right, well, thanks, Brad. Good luck out there. Thank you. Tell me about how the track is so far. A lot of guys have said a bunch of different things about it. Yeah, it's been, uh, the sun was out hard when we started when we started racing on it, and it's really killed it. So the times are down, and uh, and we'll see what we can do for this heat race. If we knock the curb off on the top, then we can at least move around on it, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it doesn't take rubber until they get a chance to work on it again. What do you like about this dirt track compared to the other tracks that you guys run in the circuit? Well, for Charlotte, it's kind of special in the fact that uh, even when the track blows off like this the times are still pretty fast so it's a uh, it's a track where it's really loaded you down on your wing and it allows you to be able to race when it when the track gets gets like this so hopefully it stays the case and as long as rubber stays off of it it should be that way so what's it going to take to win out here tonight i don't know it's uh slick so you're just going to have to get the car tires into the track it's uh it's uh it's one of the things where uh you just kind of keep your momentum up going and and uh stay go where they're not we got some of the uh, big name NASCAR guys running out here tonight. I saw Tony Stewart earlier. How do you think he's going to do out here? Uh, he should be pretty good. He's uh, when tracks slick off like this, that's where he's in his prime. So uh, it should be should be pretty tough when when you're racing against him. And as the same for Casey, he's a heck of a qualifier, and that's half of this uh, half of the sport of sprint car racing is to qualify your way in. And uh, he'll be uh, starting in the dash as long as he makes through his heat. So it'll be pretty tough to beat these guys. <laughs> All right, Steve, you've been winning races over the past couple years, but you haven't had that championship. I know that you're itching and ready for another one. This year, you're leading in points. How do you think your chances are so far? Well, I don't know. We, we're running better than what we have been, so we're right in a hunt, and that's all you can ask for, and uh, we'll just continue plugging away and uh, try to get our 21st championship if we can. Uh, it has been a few years since we won one, so uh, I would like to. I don't have a whole lot of years. I'm up in age, so I just take it year by year right now. Right now, you and Sammy are kind of neck and neck with points, been going back and forth, and we're tied at one point. Are you enjoying the season, kind of battling with, back and forth with him? Well, it's a little bit early to worry about points right now. We're just trying to get a race car working well, and, and uh, we get to it where we win races and then let the points fall where they may. What do you like about the Charlotte track so far? Well, I mean, I've ran good here, and I've ran bad. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's usually a pretty nice racetrack. Uh, we'll see what it happens. It'll probably makes, uh, do a little bit of work on it, and we'll just see what happens for feature and try to adjust with it. And what's it going to take to be successful out here this evening? Well, first of all, you need to get a you know get a pretty good draw for the dash and get a good starting spot in the feature. Uh, there's a lot of good cars here, and you got to work hard to get around any of them. So, the closer you start toward the front, the better you are. Last time we saw you here in Charlotte, you won at the track, and you said uh, next you're looking to win the championship. How are your chances looking so far, and how's the season going? Well, the season's been almost like a disaster, and um, you know you can't really take back what you've we've done already to this point. But to be where we're at, we're we're not out of the champion hunt by any means. We're right there, and we've not really even been any good. So 
Um, I'm, I can be happy with that part, but the, the performance part not running well, yeah, we're not happy with that. We're just keep, um, I mean, everybody's banging their heads, um, not sleeping, doing all the things that come with running bad. So um, we're working on it. Uh, it's just something that we can't fix right tonight. And, um, you know, hopefully we can, we can get a big step on it this week and move forward. What do you like about this track? Well, uh, when the track's right, it's... Uh, it's a real unique, fun place to race. You still have to go hard, but yet you have to have some sort of finesse and, and have car control. And, you know, tonight it's get up on the top and go, and it's it's hard to get anywhere else. You're not seeing guys moving around. You're not seeing guys passing much. And when the, when the top's not there like that and you, the cars are really hard to get stuck, it, they're fun to drive here. They're, you know, you can float through the middle and slide job and do all those things, and oh, that, make it, that makes it fun. So just look forward to them conditions and, you know, every day you go to a race, uh, things are a little different. Tonight's a little different, so we just have to deal with it and move on. All right, Joey, I wanted to start off by saying congratulations to you. Great race tonight. Last time we saw you here in Charlotte, things did not go quite the way that you had hoped for. Tonight, taking home the victory. Tell me about your run. It looks like you had a great car. Yeah, we did. We had we had a really good great clips number nine. Um, we kind of struggled a little bit in qualifying, but um, luckily we won our heat, put ourselves in position, got in the dash, which is so critical with these guys, and then uh, started fourth in the A, and then just kept working with our car and uh, got Sammy there on a restart, and uh, just finished it off. Definitely a good result for us, and and this is where you want to win. Definitely for Casey being in Mooresville and, and what's going on across the street. To, to win this race might not pay the most, but definitely for sponsors, it's probably the most prestigious. All right, well, we're happy for you. Congratulations and best of luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you. That's gonna do it for another night out here at the Charlotte Dirt Track. It was dusty and dirty, but an overall great night of racing. Congratulations again to Joey Saldana taking home the victory tonight. Make sure you guys tune back in in a couple weeks to 3 Wide Life. We're going to have some more in-depth interviews with some of the World Outlaw drivers.